thanks so much for coming back for another video. I thought I would do this one really quick because I haven't been to the thrift stores all week. I wanted to go see my mom and I invited her to go eat with me. And she said, okay, she said, do you want to go to the thrift stores? And I turned her on to thrifting a couple of years ago and she's not addicted like I am, but she certainly enjoys a good bargain here and then, now and then. So um, we met at a thrift store and $50 later, I bought a lot of things, but I'm very happy with everything I bought. Starting with a stack full of these hangers because we run out of hangers with all the clothes we've been buying lately. And this is just probably a third of what was in that bag for $1.50, so that was a really good deal. And these are like, um, and they're like department store hangers, so they're really nice. Let me uh, start with some leggings that I got for my daughter. This is for my middle daughter, who is quite the uh, fitness buff. So I got her these leggings. Who makes these? These look like they're a good brand. These are by Dorothy Perkins. And um, these were how much? These were a dollar, no, two dollars and 99 cents, three dollars. Very nice and thick black leggings, and I think they're perfect for exercising. All right, let me get the clothes that I got. I got mostly clothes for my daughter because I took her with me. I did do some vloggage there, some footage, so you'll get a a glimpse into um, that in my next ride along. Okay, let me show you these awesome jeans that I got, which I think I can get away with wearing as um, professional pants because they um, they have a nice kind of a relaxed fit. They're not really, really skinny, I don't think. They're a larger size than I normally wear and I'm upset about that, but hey, it is what it is. So we get to, to serious about losing the extra poundage I gained. Um, I bought these and I didn't want to pay too much. I don't like to keep buying bigger sizes or smaller sizes or whatever. I, and I just don't want like to spend that much on jeans because I never try them on. Anyway, it was $3. They're by Cabby, that brand Cabby. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. I see it a lot at the thrift stores. And these are not quite a camo, but they're kind of like camo colored. They're grayish and greenish and taupes in there, but they're kind of like a muddled or marled effect. Someone told me one time that that was the correct term. Sort of a marled um, effect there. And they're very soft and, and thin. I don't like really thick jeans either. Our, our summers are so horrific here in Houston. I don't know how we function, but especially going back to school and, and going back to, um, to my job as a teacher and things that we have to do outdoors and things like that, it is so hot that all I can think about is how am I going to dress so that I'm not burning out. So let me, let me finish with what I got and then I'll show you what my daughter got because I'm sure she wants to start wearing it and washing it first of course. All right I got this really cute shirt and this is by uh, Banana Republic I believe. Yeah this is by Banana Republic and this was uh, $6.50. It was normally $12, or they had it marked for $12. I really, really like it. It's got like a little string, a tie string in the back with a little panel so you can, uh, you know, tie it at the waist. I love the olive green color and, or more like a fern actually. And I love the gauze because I don't have to worry about ironing it. I love shirts that I can just slip on right after washing so yeah that's it there and you can cuff it up and button it if you want you can roll up the sleeves it's super long like a tunic could almost be a mini dress on someone certainly not me but isn't that gorgeous i love it and like i said six dollars 56 cents for that okay then we'll start with what my daughter got this is a really cute thick sort of a um what do they call it sort of a mattress I don't know what they call that bedding mattress looking fabric. She paid $10 for it and I thought that was expensive. And this is by Arizona Jeans. So I don't know if it's from the 80s, 90s or what, but it's a very, very thick Locked in the back, very, very full skirt. And she's not gonna need any kind of a slip because it's it's thick. But I thought it was really cute. She fell in love with it. I didn't wanna pay for it, but she kept telling me, oh, you know what, you'll, you'll, you would pay a lot more at a, at a store and whatever. And, you know, as long as she likes it and she did try them on she she does have she did do me that courtesy is to try them on because I don't want to get them home and then for them not to fit at that price now I'll do that with myself because I don't pay more than $300 for them and I can always re them or that's the way I see it 
Anyway, then she got these really cute shorts with suspenders. And these are, oh, so cute. She might do a look book for us. She says she was, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, and these are also a very thick fabric. And they're pinstriping, so they're like a men's pinstripe in black. And this is the back, and they are cuffed. Really, really nice outfit. She said it was really cute. She'd been talking about getting this something like this isn't that crazy sometimes you go into the thrift store with ideas and and you actually find what you you know what you're looking for it's wonderful then she got these these other dresses this is just a peach little dress uh what is this from this was five dollars and 45 cents and it was from so the brand so it's very nice and sort of an eyelet lace peach pink color and it's lined. It's got some smocking at the waist and uh, quite a few dresses. She really did. And she was or reorganizing her closet or something last night, she said. So I guess uh, she figures she needs dresses. This one was $6.56. And this one is by Forever 21. Uh, adjustable straps, smocking. Uh, she liked it. All right. And then this one, this one was still tagged. I really like this a lot. This is sort of a halter back. And again, it's also and not an eyelet lace, but it is a, a lace and it is lined. And this is more of a true, oh, this is more of a blush color. Really, really pretty pink blush or a ballet pink. And again, it's just a line dress lace. And it's fully lined really pretty still tagged i think i've asked you guys before so if you guys know what the difference is between the 21 or the forever 21 is it the same brand or not i don't know and this one was marked five dollars and 45 cents also originally 12. it's a cute dress it really is the color is so pretty i love it okay so that is it oh she got this this really pretty bag it is a betsy johnson and i know they're expensive but betsy johnson makes the worst handbags and they are so pretty unless they're the maybe the leather ones may last longer and i hate to say that because her clothes are very very nice I've, and her jewelry is amazing but her bags are so expensive compared to the, the wear you get out of them my other daughters my elder daughters have bought their her their handbags directly from you know retail and within months, the the faux leather starts peeling, and it's just not very, it's not a pretty thing. But she found this one. They did want $10 for it at the thrift store, but it is brand new. So I went ahead and said, okay, if you like it. I had already bought her one Betsy Johnson years ago on eBay, but she said she always wanted one with the ice cream or cake motifs and that kind of stuff. So she found this one, and um, yeah, so we picked that up. And the only reason I don't like Betsy Johnson handbags and especially their Betsyville is because they are made very low quality for their price because this bag is probably I'm gonna say at least eighty dollars very close to a hundred dollars retail they're gorgeous they're so cute but my daughters were so disappointed that within months like six months they would start peeling so anyway well, because he has been complaining since the day I gave away the little ice cream dishes remember that day a few months ago back in um, what was it October that we went to the flea market and I had been had this notion of becoming a minimalist which that's not going to happen as long as I'm reselling and uh, I cleaned up a lot of things in my pantry and gave away some crystal ice cream dishes and he's been complaining every time he has to pour himself some ice cream so I found this one serve himself some ice cream so I found this one it says you scream ice cream we all scream for ice cream and it's got some kids holding some ice cream and it's a huge substantial bowl just oh and it's got some kids in there too just the right size for a man who has to have ice cream almost every night and he's probably responsible for me putting on the extra 16 pounds because i'm the same way i love ice cream and i don't like to buy it because i know i'll eat, I'll eat it every night and as a matter of fact he and my daughter are on their way should be coming back very soon from baskin robbins because though we have ice cream in the freezer they're not my flavors and i don't ever buy my favorite flavors for some reason, he wants to go get a banana split or a sundae or something. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that is my little haul today. It was kind of an impromptu haul. I wasn't expecting to go to the thrift store, 
but my mother invited me when I invited her to go eat. She said, why don't we meet at the thrift store? And we did, and she found some good stuff, and I found some good stuff, and I brought you a haul, and I'm going to come back later on this week with a couple of unboxings, or well, at least one unboxing so far. I'm waiting for more, see if I can do it. And um, a sales video as well, all right? And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks again so much for coming in. Bye.